report shows only 25% of sunscreens on the market offer safe and effective protection from the sun. The Environmental Working Group analyzed more than 2,200 products and recommended 500 of them. Our Dr. Frank McGeorge is here with a closer look at why so many didn't pass the test, Doc. Well, Ty and Kimberly, the recommended products had to offer protection against both UVA and UVB rays without containing any chemicals that were deemed hazardous. The good news, there were actually 500 products that met the mark with a variety of options for everyone. There's a dizzying number of choices available when it comes to sunscreen, but consumers can use the Environmental Working Group website to sort through the options. Some are EWG verified. That means they meet the strictest standards for safety and don't contain any of the ingredients deemed unacceptable. There's also categories for recreation, baby and kids, daily use, non-mineral, and lip balm with SPF. Click on a sunscreen and find a full breakdown of ingredients and any concerns. Now, the report also tracked several sunscreen trends. One of note, the use of mineral sunscreens is on the rise. Chemical sunscreens are absorbed into the skin, and they use a chemical reaction to protect from the sun. Mineral sunscreens are not absorbed. The minerals sit on the skin and physically deflect the sun's rays. The report also found far fewer chemical sunscreens containing oxybenzone. That chemical has been linked to lower testosterone levels in boys, hormone changes in men, and negative pregnancy effects. It was once in 70% of chemical sunscreens. This report found it in just 9%. Spray sunscreens remain a consumer favorite, but experts remain concerned that those products are often inhaled. It's also more more difficult to get sufficient coverage with a spray. Now you can scan the QR code on the screen to find the 2025 sunscreen guide. Check it out before you stock up on this year's sunscreen and make sure that your favorite brand is actually offering the protection that you think it is. Yeah. And I think we forget that sunscreens expire. Oh yeah, they do. And especially the chemical sunscreens. So you need to check the dates on them. The other thing I should mention is if you check the date on your bottle and the date is worn off, mm -hmm. it's probably too old. <laughs> We've been warned. Thanks, Doc. Sure. Yeah.